Last month, nine candidates seeking to unseat L.A. County District Attorney George Gascon faced off in a debate sponsored by the county's biggest police unions. Among them, retired Superior Court Judge Davis L. David S. Milton. Milton, now an attorney in private practice, served on the bench for more than 20 years and before that, almost a decade as an L.A. County Deputy D.A. And four months out now from the primary day, the Honorable David S. Milton joins us now with more. Judge, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Well, thank you for having me, giving me the opportunity to address my candidacy. Thank you. And let's start by introducing yourself and us and the viewers getting a sense of who you are. You have, what, 45 years of legal experience? Yes, I've been a, a lawyer for 45 years, and 36 of those years were, have been dedicated to public service. I served 24 years as a judge, 12 years as a prosecutor. And uh, I can go into those experiences at this time if you'd like. I mean, what was your biggest, most important takeaway from that? Well, uh, it, was, it was a good career. I began my legal career as a deputy district attorney, uh, Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. I matriculated quickly up the ranks in that office. I, after the entry-level type work, I went to the crimes against police officers section, the career criminal, habitual criminal section, the hardcore gang division, and finally as a deputy in charge of one of the area offices, I tried some of the most difficult cases that anybody can try in any jurisdiction, state or federal, in the entire country. Um, so part of what we're doing here at 6 o'clock is we're interviewing everybody that's running. Yes. Um, obviously, it's a crowded field. It is. How do you separate yourself? Why are you the one over everybody else? It's my experience by far, vast experience by far. And again, I'd like the viewers, if they could, go to my website at davidsmilton.com and push the cases prompt in the right-hand corner. It gives you a sampling of that experience. Uh, the difficult cases that I tried as a prosecutor and as handled as a judge, uh, some of the most difficult cases, and, and the, I guess the assignment that I'm most proud of is uh, my tenure in the hardcore gang division. And, and there's a subject that's uh, unpleasant, it's sensitive, it's serious, difficult to discuss at times, and that's capital punishment. Mm. I drafted and wrote uh, two capital punishment statutes I uh, also co-authored the stalking legislation, having been a victim of stalking myself. I uh, and do you believe? Do you believe in the death penalty? Well, it's the law, and let me explain that. I've gotten two death verdicts as a prosecutor. I sentenced an individual to death. It's not my personal belief. It's what I am compelled to do yeah. as the district attorney. We've got to make those tough decisions. So you disagree with the way that G.A. George Gascon will never pursue the death penalty? Well, Mr. Gascon is, and my, this is one of the reasons I'm running, or the reason I'm running, is because Mr. Gascon has been completely derelict in his carrying out the duties of the office. He raised his right hand and swore under oath that he would carry out, ex faithfully execute the duties of the, of the district attorney's office, and he's failed to do that. And there is a moratorium on the death penalty in the state of California right. as well. Let's point that out. Yes. Uh, so we were just seeing uh, footage from smash and grabs. Those have yes. been in the news and yes. making headlines up and down the state. You say that offenders are getting a slap on the wrist right now. What would you do differently? Well, I know there's a proposition, I believe it's 47, that put a limitation on the, on the amount of the value you've taken. Well, that's not the inquiry. The inquiry is what was the intent of the perpetrator before he entered the premises. If he entered the premises with the intent to commit theft of any value, that's a burglary, a felony. If he used force or fear on the proprietor uh, to try to, uh, to take the property or force or fear when the proprietor is trying to recapture his property. That's a robbery. These are serious felonies. Think about that. There was one in El Monte, I believe, the other day or a few weeks back where someone used uh, bear spray on the security guard. Mm -hmm. That's a robbery. It's clear use of force and it should be filed as a felony. That is not a petty theft. We have, less, stop. we have less than 30 seconds left. We want to get your take on uh, many of the candidates who we've interviewed uh, running for DA. They say they're going to tackle homelessness. What's your stance on that? The district attorney is a creature of statute. The, the district attorney does not have authority 
to address homelessness. You can't use his resources to uh, tackle homelessness. Listen, I was raised in a Christian family. I'm very sympathetic to the plight of people. Homelessness, people who are uh, addicted, people who are, have mental issues. I wish there was a way society should address those. Those are very serious. But the district attorney does not have the authority legislatively to address those issues. But you say in terms of crime, the district authority, attorney is not using the authority that he has. Well, no. If, the, yeah. if, if that person, that homeless person, that uh, a person with the mental issues or who is chemically, chemically addicted, if that person commits a crime, certainly you can charge with a crime. Mm -hmm. But the yeah. question was just how do you tend to address homelessness? Right. There, there are diversion programs that these people sure. might be suitable for, but just that state of being, the Supreme Court said you can't, that's not a crime. It clearly is not a crime. The district attorneys cannot use its resources to do anything about being in the state of homelessness or addiction or, right. or mental illness. Judge David Milton, thanks so much for sharing your views. Good luck out on the campaign trail. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for inviting me. That's yeah. very kind of you. Thank, Thank you. you.